I wanted to make you guys a brief video for your research abstract assignment um, and just kind of go over this. So send me an email or let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but I pretty much have everything captured in this assignment sheet. So basically what a research abstract is, it's, it's kind of like writing a summary. Um, except there are particular sections of the sum of the article that need to be included in the summary. Um, there's a personal or not a personal. There's a particular format required for writing one of these papers, um, and then also there's a personal relevance section to it. Um, so I've basically laid out your guidelines and told you and showed you the two sections. Um, just some general guidelines. Don't have a header at the top of the paper with your name or class info. Just start the paper with an APA citation at the very top, and I'll show you. The next page has an example of exactly what I want it to look like. Um, no need for all that space up top. I know who you are. You're, you're turning this in through Dropbox, so there's nothing you have to do to identify who you are. Just turn it in through Dropbox. Don't waste your time and space by putting your name, my name, the class name, all that kind of stuff up top uh, I'll show you in the next page what I'm looking for don't have any of that stuff make sure you have one inch margins um, surrounding the entire document um, so you just go to layout where you're at in word drop down to margins make sure they're normal one inch the whole way around all right um, submit the document to Dropbox as a Microsoft Word file. Please do turn it in as a Word file. Um, and the paper length should be three quarters to one full page in length, and this is single spaced. Um, so don't have double spaced papers, just single space the whole document. Um, and uh, again, I'll show you in the example what I'm looking for. There's two main sections. First, you have your summary, and this is kind. Of, this is going to be the harder part. This is where you got to actually read the article thoroughly and pull these main components out of the article. This is how you read a research article. Um, this is how you focus on the particular important parts of a research article. And again, this is how you ultimately summarize um, a, a research article. So the first thing you're going to want to do is identify the purpose of the article. And there will usually be some kind of statement like the purpose of this current research study is, or the purpose of this research paper is, or the reason why we're doing this, or our, our intent of this article, there will usually be some kind of purpose statement real early on in the paper. It's usually within the first page or two. Um, so you're going to want to find that and identify that. Um, and then you're going to want to identify why this research is necessary or why the author states they're doing the research. Um, so they're going to say the purpose of this is, and they'll also say after that, and it's not going to be as explicit. They're not going to lay this out for you. It's not going to be highlighted. You're going to have to really read and pay close attention and dig this stuff up. But the next thing you're going to do is determine why is it necessary? Has it not been done before? Is there a lack of research in this area? Somewhere early in the article, there will be something saying, this is why we're doing this study. And you need to pull that out too. Following the literature review section, the section of the paper that's going to build up the argument, build up the purpose, build up the whole necessity of the research being done, it's going to end with either a research question, a set of research questions, a hypothesis, a set of hypotheses, or it's going to be a combination of research questions or hypotheses. I want you to identify that too. Say, just tell me, you know, these were the research questions used in this study. Next, you're going to go through all the methods and the research, and then you're going to tell me what they found. What were the results of the study? What were the outcomes? Um, and then finally, the last section of any research article is called the discussion, discussion section. And this augments and just kind of parcels out a little bit further what the findings actually mean. Um, so what kind of tell me what does this finding mean? So if they say research studies show or if, if in the results section they say, well, stepchildren said that they got along with their step parents when they were in blank like when they were in this situation, but not in this situation. So finding section are just going to tell you the straight up, this meant this, or this related to this. The discussion section is where the authors are going to go into further depth and explain those results. So in the discussion section, I want you to kind of pull out what those findings mean. And also there might be limits and strengths listed in the study. I want you to identify those. So again, this is hard. This is not easy. It's not easy to read research articles. It's not easy to pull these findings five things out, but that's what I'm going to be looking for you to do. Um, so please take your time with this. You're going to have to read this article probably a couple times, take notes, whatever you have to do, but I'll be looking for these five things within your summary. And the thing is you got a small amount of space to do it and that's what makes it challenging. 
Section two is, it's, it's a lot easier. It's, it's your chance to be more creative. I want you, after reading this article and writing the summary and doing all this hard work, I want you to either think of a current situation in your life or something from your past and connect the findings to, your, to the article. So if the article is about romantic relationships or if the article is about community engagement or if the article is about health communication, I want you to take pieces of that article or maybe the findings or the discussion or just whatever you want out of that article and connect it to your personal life somehow. So again, all of your guidelines and pretty much everything you need to know is right here. On the following page, I have an example. This is an actual research abstract that I wrote um, from grad school. So again, what you're turning in should look a lot like this, this one page right here. Start the paper with your APA citation up top. Um, in this case, it only has to be single space. So again, I don't want your name. I don't want class information. I don't want any of that stuff on there. So just start the article with your APA citation like this. All right. And then there's the summary. Um, you can read mine as an example if you want. I'm not expecting you all to write like super scholarly. So if some of this writing is hard to read, like I, I don't expect it to be this. I, I was doing this while while working on my PhD. So this isn't this isn't the writing level that I expect you all to be on. But again, summary section takes up about half a page, and this is where I'm identifying those top five things. Um, and then in this one too, I don't think they actually listed the limits or the strengths. So if that's not in the article, that's fine. But again, this has this is the summary section that identifies those things I've listed above. And then the personal relevance, this is where you just kind of unload and talk more. So I mean, this is how you connect it to your personal life. Think of some personal examples. At the time, I was a researcher, obviously, so a lot of what I was figuring out out, what I was connecting it to is research studies I've done. But again, this is the basic template. All right, it's about a page long. As you can see, everything is double or single spaced. I have a subheader called summary. I have a subheader called personal relevance. You can see there's only a double space between these two. I don't have massive gaps in the paper. It's all single spaced. So I will be looking for something like this when you turn in your research abstract paper.